Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabella. If it's your first time here, welcome, hello, what's going on? Thanks for hanging out with me today as always. Um, today I just wanted to kind of do something affordable for you guys. Uh, this look is different. I really like it. It's again, it's out of my comfort zone. A lot of colors, a lot of stuff happening, but I really like it a lot. I think last video really inspired me to kind of step out of my comfort zone, kind of use new colors, do new things. So that's what I tried for this video, and I also made it affordable, obviously, for you guys. So if you're interested, you like the way this turned out, and you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching after you subscribe. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, we are close, zoomed in, in action. I have a gum in my mouth, so I already know I'm going to start chomping. Which is obnoxious. And I'm just going to get right into this um, eye look. Um, so I'm going to use the Rendezvous palette. I talk about this all the time. And I'm going to take... The shade Shake It Off, which is this shade right here. So if you don't have this exact palette, you can kind of just wing it with what's close to that. Um, and I am going to put that in the crease a little bit higher up. light hand doing this um, like my brush is barely touching my eye and I'm just kind of building the color up a little bit lower and then feathering out the top so it's super blended because as always you want everything to be blended So the next shade I'm going to use is called Want You Back, which is this shade right here. And I'm just putting that right in the crease. We're just deepening it up, adding some dimension. You guys know the drill by this point, right? Then I'm taking this darker shade and it is called Textual. And I'm using like a pointier brush. It's fluffy but it's pointy. And I'm using that to kind of do like a halo eye. So I'm going to start over here on the outer corner. And I'm just applying a small amount because we can build it up after if we want. So then, for the middle shade, I am using Never Never, which is know how I would describe this shade like I'm applying that right in the middle so then I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and pick up more of textual 
and just blend out this side of it so it just kind of goes right into the next shade and there's no harsh lines and then I'm going to go and do the other side of the halo. I don't know about anyone else, but I am freaking starving. So now I'm going to go back in with the brown, and I'm going to go above that little halo action and just blend and add some more. And then same thing with the pink. I'm not adding any. Extra, I'm just feathering, blending, making sure there's a lot of colors going on here. So I felt like something was missing a little bit with the never never the middle shade on the lid so i took fling which is this pretty bronzy goldish champagne color and i just kind of lightly tapped that on top just to add something extra and then I took the shade My Treat, which is like this holographic white shade, um, and I just popped that on the inner corner to brighten it up. Add some more on that side. And I really am liking it so far, so good. So I'm just gonna pop some, well, the one lash on, and then we'll come back and finish up the face. All right. I have my lashes obviously on, so now I'm going to prime my face. Honestly, the only primer I have that's like affordable is the Maybelline Master Prime, and it says blur and smooth. I don't know why I said that, like there was more coming out, but that's it. And I'm just going to, it comes out like a lotion-y consistency, which I honestly do really like. It feels really, really nice on the skin. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation, and this is in the shade Medium Beige. I like the coverage on this. I really like this foundation a lot, actually. So guys, I don't know if I'm, I know I mentioned the 100 in my last video, but I don't know if I said that I started watching it or that I was just going to start watching it, but I did start watching it. gonna try and break in and kill me but um I did end up start watching the 100 so freaking good by the way if you haven't watched it definitely definitely watch it it's definitely not a show that I really thought I would be that interested in but it's super good
make sure you get your ears if you're Make sure your ears, if your ears are going to show. For concealer, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade Cashmere. is bright I like it at first I wasn't sure how I really felt about it but then I started using it more and I was like you know I like you you are here to stay we're just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender and sharpen up our eyeshadow so yeah moral of the story watch the 100 wow this looks not so Watch the 100, because I don't think you'll regret it. So I'm gonna get some more of that. And we're just gonna highlight the center of our face. None of this is really new. But I'm just here hanging out with you guys and talking you through my thought process, okay? So I hope you guys had a really good Halloween. I didn't really do anything. I think I ate some candy. I got no trick-or-treaters. Well, actually that's a lie. I got three trick-or-treaters. And I was honestly like super excited. It was my first time handing out candy. And only three trick-or-treaters. Oh my god, that's awesome. Now before we go on and do any cream contours, I'm going to set this and I'm using my Airspun Loose Setting Powder. I don't have the cap on it right now. And I'm just making sure to set pretty close so there's no creasing going on. And this looks literally like you just face tune smoothed out under your eyes. It looks really good. I don't know if I'm just like super hungry right now, like unbelievably hungry, but I could really just go for a nice brownie. So I think we're gonna skip the cream contour. If you guys wanna do it, I have this. Um, it is a Maybelline Master Contour Duo Stick. And obviously I just used the dark end for contour. And then I have used the lighter part for under my eyes to brighten it up and it did look nice. So you guys can definitely use that. I'm just gonna bronze up my face. And the only like affordable, I feel like this is this is the one. But this is the one affordable or not. This is the go-to. I just really honestly like contour. Everything looks so chiseled and so nice. And I'm gonna be honest, I really loved doing an Instagram makeup look 
on my last video if you didn't see it go check it out plug but I don't know I just thought it was like really fun to do and it helps me expand my creative outlet a little bit you know what I mean like it wasn't just the same old nudes like I tried to do something a little different today I'm just like really kind of into this color thing now and if you're into a more chiseled look, grab your beauty blender, grab some of your powder, and just do some chisel action down here. Just don't forget to wipe it away because I have had that happen to me. Then if you feel like your bronzer is too harsh, which in person I feel like it doesn't really look like that, but then when I'm like looking at my camera, or like going back to edit my video, I'm like, wow, like that bronzer helmet though. So I am just kind of softening it up with a beauty blender. This is a great trick if you ever feel like your bronzer, contour, whatever looks too harsh. Just take a beauty blender or the brush that you used for your foundation will ever use brush beauty blender and just kind of like dab over it and it really softens everything we of course need some blush in here because that's just what we do so I'm gonna take my NYX um, cream blush in the shade rose petal and just brighten up these cheeks You know, going overboard with blush is fine. It's all fine because, like I always say, blush, it's the first thing to go. So I'm just going to do this in fast motion, but you guys know what I do for my lower lash line. I always do the crease shade, and the, like I just kind of like, you know what I do. So just follow along. But I'm gonna do it fast because I don't want this video to be super long. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild highlighter and I'm just lightly going to apply that just a little bit. Hit all the spots. I'm going to line my lips. This is NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I'm going to use my NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream in the shade Roam. I wanted to do something a little bit different than your typical nude so I decided to do something a little bit darker than I usually do but pretty much this is my finished 
look. If you want to set your face, you can use NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Love this stuff. I'm not going to set my face because I'm going to go jump in the shower and wash this all off. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, a lot of the, all these products, they really work for me. I really like them. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check those out if you're interested. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.